In 2023, investors finally experienced the tipping point we've talked about for many years, as the spot price nearly doubled to close the year at $91 US per pound U308. Many investors, however, are perplexed by the fact that the share price of the uranium stocks didn't do the same. How can uranium prices hit their highest levels in over 12 years, yet my uranium picks are barely twitching and in many cases are going down? The fact is, most uranium stocks have not been performing as expected. Could it be that uranium equities are waiting for the long-term contract price to reach incentive levels? Before you give up on your favorite picks, you need to take a look at how the broader market has been reacting to the nuclear revival. Two years ago, on January 1st, 2022, the spot price of uranium was $42 a pound. During the first part of the year, we saw that price rise to nearly $64 by April, but then fall right back down again to $45. For the following 12 months, the spot price maintained a fairly steady level when in May of last year it made a more concerted effort to drift upwards. In September, the real surge began, taking the spot to $91 by year end. In order to understand how these spot price movements affected equities, we've tracked the average share price change of the 27 publicly traded uranium companies in North America. The jump we saw in early 2022 was mirrored in the stock price movement. However, when the spot came off again, the equities came back down to an even greater degree. The general equity prices then continued to plateau and even drift lower until the fall of 2023. In September, when the spot price jumped, the equities all jumped as well. However, that lift only lasted a month, leaving the market to remain no better than where it had started two years earlier. In order to better understand these results, we grouped our analysis between the producers, the developers, and the explorers. As you can see by the dotted green line, the four producers we tracked came off significantly in April of 2022, but after that, somewhat followed the spot price of uranium. The 11 developers and the 19 explorers we followed, however, continued to languish even into 2023 when the price of uranium was slightly rising. No one started moving up again until September of last year, after that which prices came off again, even while uranium prices were moving up by leaps and bounds. Our 19 explorers, represented by the gray line, continued their downward path to year-end. Let's take a closer look at the producers. In this slide, we are looking at the share price movement of Cameco and Uranium Energy Corp, or UEC. We can see that both followed fairly closely to the spot price. However, in early 2023, UEC fell off significantly, while Cameco's blue line moved in tandem with the spot price. In May, UEC made a miraculous recovery pretty much catching up to the spot price. The other two producers, Energy Fuels in green and UR Energy in blue, did not see the same recovery as Cameco and UEC. Their share prices moved in an identical fashion, and since September, they've remained fairly flat. Interestingly enough, Energy Fuels and UR Energy appear more to have kept in line with the developers, again seen here in the brown line. Within the developers, there was one standout. NextGen Energy, seen here in the lighter brown. NextGen appeared to react to the spot price change in a manner very similar to that of UEC and Cameco. Let's look now at our 19 explorers, seen here in dark gray. Over the course of the two years, the average share price trended downward, while the uranium spot price moved in the opposite direction. Obviously, this line represents only the average, and any one individual stock may have reacted differently. What is evident, however, is that they reacted in a fairly volatile manner, as seen here in this slide where we display them all. In the case of PurePoint, we can see that our share price has moved somewhat in tandem with the average of all of the explorers in a less volatile fashion. So to the extent that uranium stock prices are reacting, if at all, to rising uranium prices, we have to recognize that they are reacting differently depending on whether you've invested in a producer, a developer, or an explorer. Further, investors need to also recognize that although the uranium spot price now exceeds $92, the long-term contract price, although rising, is still only $68, still below the incentive price necessary to turn on most uranium mines. We've seen that some producers are reacting early to these price movements and are closely aligned with the spot price, while other producers and most developers have plateaued as they wait for a stronger long-term contract price. We would expect to see that once developers start to enjoy stronger share prices from long-term contract pricing, that the explorers will follow in kind. 
We believe that the fundamentals continue to be favorable with regards to the growing demand for nuclear energy, the pending supply and demand imbalance, nuclear energy policy changes, advancement in SMR technologies, positive pricing trends, and geopolitical factors. Given that most developers and explorers are now sitting at share prices lower than they were two years ago, many may consider this an opportune entry point as we move into 2024. To assist in following the uranium market, be sure to check in every Tuesday for our weekly 10-minute podcast, Uranium Spotlight, where we follow the movement of uranium prices and the events that drive them.